Back in the 18th century, people started burning coal to power a new invention, steam engines. But here's something curious. Ever since steam engines were widely used, starting in about 1850, the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere began to climb. Today it stands at 392 parts per million. Parts per million is a special measurement scientists use. 392 is way more carbon dioxide than we've had for many thousands of years, and the number continues to rise. So where does the extra carbon dioxide come from? You might say it comes from our success, and steam engines were just the start. It comes from our bustling cities and towns, filled with things like cars, planes, factories, office buildings, homes, computers, TVs, air conditioners, and refrigerators. All those inventions were good, and we've accomplished some amazing things because of them. But they all require one thing. Energy. Lots of energy. And it's our thirst for energy that has some unintended consequences for the planet. Where does energy come from? Well, we get most of it from burning things like coal, oil, and natural gas. These are called fossil fuels because they were formed deep in the ground over millions of years by ancient decaying organisms, or fossils. Chances are, most of the things that you do that take energy in a given day are powered by burning coal in a power plant. And of course, you burn gasoline, which comes from oil, when you ride in a car. Meanwhile, many homes and buildings are heated by natural gas. Fossil fuels are full of energy, and they've been useful to us. But there's a problem. Burning them releases carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. In 2009, each person in the United States used enough fossil fuel energy to release an average of 17 tons of carbon dioxide. That's about the equivalent of four African elephants. Over time, all of that carbon dioxide really starts to add up. And because of the thickening blanket that causes the greenhouse effect, the more carbon dioxide there is, the higher Earth's average temperature goes. Scientists and the governments of many nations now agree that we're releasing too much carbon dioxide, and to prevent the worst effects of rapid climate change, we're going to have to reduce that 392 parts per million number to about 350. Fortunately, by making good choices now, we can tackle the problem of too much carbon dioxide. And in case you didn't know, you can be part of the solution too.